Hi Santan, it's Miss Ford. I wanted to talk to you about typing. This is my old typewriter. It's from 1938. Yes, it's older than I am. And I wanted to show you how it works. All right, there's the keyboard. And I can push a letter. And do you see when I push the letter, that little steel rod moves as well? That, I'm pushing this button and that's telling that rod to go up and to hit that ribbon. See, I'm doing it in slow motion here. That black and red ribbon has ink on it. It's an inked ribbon. And when the steel type, which is what it's called, which is probably why it's called a typewriter, the steel type hits that quickly, then it transfers that ink in that impression of whatever letter it was. So I can write a letter. I have my space bar down here. I even have a shift to get capital letters. I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> I just wrote random letters because I'm just showing you how it works. Um, there's only one font and one size. I can't make it bigger for you to see because that's that's it. <laughs> um, typewriters were invented about 153 years ago. Um, in 1867, an American inventor named Christopher Latham Scholes came up with the first practical typewriter. Um, he actually turned down a job to work with President Abraham Lincoln in his office so that he could focus on his passion of inventing and creating. Another fun fact is that Mark Twain was the first author to submit a typewritten book of manuscript to his publisher. Today, we are going to be practicing typing. Kindergarteners through second grade, so kindergartners, first grade, second grade, you are going to play a typetastic game and you're gonna find the letters on the keyboard on your laptop or your computer or your iPad or your tablet. Um, and you will just push the letters that, that it asks you to. For my third through sixth grade, you will also be playing typetastic games but you do need to keep your hands on home row. Remember your index fingers are on F and J. And then remember you need to reach for the um, letters on the top row or the bottom row. Don't worry about how fast you are. I'm more worried about keep having you practice the right fingers with the right keys. Practice and you'll get faster, but I'm more worried about you keeping your hands on home row and having the correct posture and um, using the correct fingers. Um, you'll click on the links for the choice chart. There's different links for different grade levels. So choose your appropriate grade level and have fun typing. Oh. Have a great day, Santan.